Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android and um, got the Galaxy S5 here and want to talk about uh, private mode or privacy mode. Uh, this allows you to save, uh, to take videos, music, pictures, documents, whatever, and, and put them in a private safe in a sense so that only you will see them and uh, in fact nobody will even know that they exist. Um, and it's a uh, little complicated how this how it works in some ways uh, so I want to show you how it, how it exactly works now if you want to go into private mode for the first time uh, what you do is you have to actually just you know go in the private mode and you can find it right here on your um, quick icons by swiping two fingers down you can alter you can also find it by going into your settings if it for whatever reason isn't there uh, let's see where it is there it is, private mode under personalization. Uh, so I'm going to go, I'll go into it from here, but it's the same thing. Um, for me, um, it's just a matter of turning it on, but when you when you run it for the first time, you turn it on, you'll have to then set what, you're, uh, what you want to use for um, a password, pin code, or your fingerprint. So you go ahead and turn it on, and... Um, you go ahead and uh, for me it's it's already set to the finger so I'll swipe it and then if you want to change it once it's on uh, you can go into uh, unlock method here and it's asking me to confirm my alternate password uh, and then it will uh, give me a choice so um, that's how that works so actually I'll just go ahead and show you quickly if I could type it right I got a nice simple one here QWERTY 1 and then I can go ahead and choose what I want but I'll just leave it at the fingerprint so now it's on and actually um, let's go back into that um, the other way actually toggles it on right away rather than giving you the choice and showing it to you I'll show you that so if you do it with the two fingers down it's a lot quicker you hit private mode and it will go right to the um, your your choice of uh, password so now it's on and you have to have it, you have to be in privacy mode in order to hide stuff or see stuff that you've already put in private mode. So right now I don't believe I have anything in private and let me just show you a couple examples here. It's a little, it's a little different than what you would expect. If I go into the gallery, um, and I only have a few pictures here, but you obviously aren't going to be able to put anything that's uh, in your Google Plus Picasa. You're not going to be able to privatize those. It's only going to be photos that are on your phone. So I'll go here to the camera. And you would think, like, say if you want to look at this photo, you'd be able to do it here by hitting a three-dot menu and, and say go to private or whatever. But you can't do it that way. You have to do it from... Uh, where you have the icons, the thumbnails of the pictures. So what you do is you long press on it and you could select multiple ones but we're going to just hide this particular photo and then you hit the three dot menu and you'll get moved to private. So now that is going to get moved to private and um, it actually creates a private folder um, so it's not going to be, although you will see it um, Oh, actually, you don't see it here anymore. You only see it in the private folder. So when I go into uh, camera, I can go through all my photos, but that photo is not there anymore. Although it does show, um, no, it does show five photos. So um, in order to take it back out, well, actually, let's go to documents right now, and I'll show you that when we go out of private mode, uh, how that works. So we've put that cam that uh, particular image, uh, we've hit it and we put it in private mode. It's still visible right now. In order to make it not visible, you have to leave private mode. And you always know that you've, you're in private mode because it shows you in your notification. I'm in private mode. So you, what you want to do is quickly toggle it. You just go right in and you toggle it off. If I can tap it right. And now that photo is not going to be visible. In fact, nobody would even know it exists if they went in. So now we'll go back to the gallery. I can do it from here. Go to gallery. And you can see in the camera, there's no private folder anymore. And it's just these photos. And that original photo obviously isn't in, in the camera folder anymore. So in order to bring it back, 
Again, swipe down, private mode, do my fingerprint, and I'm back in private mode. You can see in the notification. Go back to the gallery, and there it is under private. And I can then tap it uh, from here. Whoops, that's right. That's intuitively you think you do it in the photo, and you can see the little uh, icon under there showing you that it's also private. So you can just long press here and remove from private. So if you no longer want a private for whatever reason, um, you can uh, remove from private and put in camera back into the camera folder or you create another folder and so it's back in that original folder now let's talk about documents works similarly but a little different um, you want to go into let's just say you want to do it from my files now I have let's go to the main screen this is the main screen where it shows all your audio video and stuff but right now I'm just gonna fool around with documents you can do this with videos and audio and stuff I don't know why you'd want to hide certain songs but uh, <laughs> but I guess you have that option. So under uh, documents here, it shows all my documents, and these aren't these could be in any folder on the device. It's just showing you all the documents. So I have a couple documents here, and I forgot. Am I in privacy mode? Um, yeah, I'm still in privacy mode. Yeah, okay. So um, so now I can again. You have to be in privacy mode to um, to hide the files. So okay, go back to my files. And you can see there's a private folder here, but there's nothing in it. And this Android folder is going to be there anyway. That comes stock with the phone. So I have a document here. And let's just say I want to hide this dental form for my uh, insurance <laughs> for whatever reason. I don't want anybody to see it. So um, I'm going to, again, I'm not going to do it from within the document. I have to do it outside the document. Long press on it. I could select more documents, but I hit the three-dot menu. And this one, it doesn't say move to private. I actually have to hit move or tap move and then say private so it's again it's a little unintuitive their whole setup so now I'm gonna hit private and I'm saying you know it's gonna go in private here move here or you know create another folder within private which I can do so I'm just gonna say move here and now it's put it into the private folder you see the Android folder that was there which kind of you know makes it um, more confusing but you've got your um, uh, let's see what's in that folder anyway just the data so it really doesn't even belong in there so um, I've got the folder in there now I go back out it still shows um, my storage size the same and I can still see the document within the documents area but I also can see it in private now let's turn off privacy mode and now the documents drops down. I've only got one document in there. I can't see it. And of course, there's no private. Let's turn private back on. And we'll do the fingerprint. And the document size goes back up. And I have private. And there it is. Now, if I want to take it out of private, I can do it from either area. And you can see the icon there showing it's private. I, got, I can long press on it tap the menu and I've got to do the move function again and again I can do this from the private area or this so it shows up in both areas whereas in the photos it doesn't so I go move and now I'm gonna say device storage obviously I'm, it's already in private so I can put it whatever folder I want I'm gonna put it in the documents folder which is where it was uh, and I can create a folder within here or whatever move here and now it's no longer private and my private folder is back to just having the Android folder and that's exactly how it works so that's private mode and again you can go out of private mode by tapping here or again if it's in your notifications to remind you oops I'm still in private mode I gotta put this thing back on private tap that turn it off and do it of course it's quicker through the quick you know swiping down with two fingers and doing that method but that is private mode privacy mode I think it works pretty good once you know what you're doing and, uh, you know, there's a lot of apps in the App Store that do this, uh, but it's built in on the phone. Unfortunately, a lot of people might not even know it's there. 
uh, unless they happen to see a video like this online or a post on our site at Talk Android. Um, so uh, hopefully uh, you stumbled upon this and you see it and it works out for you and helps you save some files that you need to save for whatever reason. So that's the privacy mode. Thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.